guys, Hello Bella here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about whether or not I think the Carnival Cruise Cheers package is worth it. My experience with the package on my last cruise, which was actually the first cruise that I've ever been on, and whether or not I think that the package overall had a good value for the price associated with it. So in the video, I'm going to kind of talk about what the package offers and how I utilize it on my cruise. So on the website, it says that the Cheers package is $52 a day and it's all inclusive. So it includes up to 15 alcoholic drinks a day, which includes beer, wine, all kinds of liquor, cocktails, mixed drinks, pretty much anything that you want on the ship, you can pretty much get. And in addition to the alcoholic drinks, this also includes like bottled water, seltzer water, uh, energy drinks, fizzy drinks, uh, like sodas. And it also included like the frappuccino, the coffee bar. So pretty much anything that you wanted to drink is included in the cheers package. We did a four day cruise to Cozumel and the cruise was about $250 per person. And then the drink package after all of the fees wound up being $260 per person. So the drink package essentially doubled the price of our cruise. I still think it was worth it overall, but I'm gonna kind of talk about what we utilized and what we didn't use and kind of the types of drinks that we were able to get with the drink package. So I actually debated getting the drink package at first. Like I wasn't sure if it would be worth it to me. I didn't know if I could break even. And once I figured out the prices of the alcoholic drinks on the ship, that's when I sort of realized, oh, it won't take very long to break even every single day. Um, for instance, I think the Patron Margarita that I was ordering was like anywhere between 12 to $15 each time I was ordering it. And you know, I would probably get three or four of those just sitting out on the top deck, relaxing and enjoying myself. So after about five or six drinks you pretty much break even. I usually would get like mimosas in the morning and then I might have like an afternoon cocktail and then I might have something in the evenings as well. I don't think this package is going to be a good deal if you're the type of person who's only going to drink two or three drinks a day. That seems kind of obvious to me but if you're not a big drinker it really isn't worth it. The main reason that I felt like me and my best friend wanted to get the drink package was that we knew we were going to drink a decent bit and we also knew that we didn't want to be thinking about the money every single time time that we got another drink. We loved the aspect of just being able to go up to the bar and order anything that we wanted without having to worry about, oh, how much does it cost? Do I have enough money? Is it worth it? You know, things like that, that I saw a lot of other cruisers worrying about during our cruise. There was actually one lady who came up to the bar during my cruise and she asked me what I was drinking. And I said, I'm drinking um, a Patron Margarita. It was like a mango frozen one. And she's like, oh, well, how much is that? And I said, I don't know, I have the drinks package. And the look on her face was like just so upsetting. Like she was so pissed that I had the drinks package. She said, must be nice. And I was like, um, okay, well you could have gotten it too. And then she proceeds to try to give me cash to buy her a drink with my drink package. And I was like, no lady, I'm not doing this. I'm not getting kicked off uh, the Carnival Cruise Cheers package because I wanted to buy some random lady a drink. So with that being said, the price of alcohol was enough for that lady to be trying to slip me cash under the table in order to get cheaper drinks. And the reason that I think the drinks package also is awesome is that you can go ahead and pay for that while you're paying for your vacation. So all of your alcohol can be paid for before you ever get on the ship, before you ever leave or anything, all of that can be settled and you don't have to worry about that each time you're swiping your card. Another reason that I really like the Cheers package is that you don't have to worry about being adventurous with your drink choices. If you order something and you don't really like it, you don't feel compelled to finish it because we never even reached our 15 drink limit any day that we were on the cruise. I don't even think we made it to 10 drinks when we were on the cruise. And that is with us ordering like little tiny mimosas in the morning and maybe, you know, beer in the afternoon and things like that. So we never actually reached our limit. So we felt like we could try pretty much anything. There were a couple drinks that we got that like, honestly, they just made it so strong that like it was, it was pretty much undrinkable for us. And you know, another person might be like, oh, you're lucky that you got a lot of alcohol in your drink. But personally for me, I don't really want to be tasting a lot of alcohol while I'm on vacation drinking a drink. So um, we didn't feel compelled to finish any of our drinks while we were on the trip. And that was kind of a nice feeling because you know, when you are drinking and you're out in the hot sun, Sometimes you drink a little bit too much and you're like, oh, I don't need any more of that. So if I had paid $15 for something, I probably would have felt compelled to finish it. But since we had already paid for everything, it felt like I could just kind of relax and drink at my own pace on the cruise. It was also kind of fun to be able to kind of order whatever kind of alcohol we wanted. Like drinking Patron all weekend is not something that I can normally afford to do, at least not at the bar rates that 
that are in my hometown. We were also able to order um, top shelf whiskey, top shelf tequila, anything that you wanted pretty much you get top shelf of and not really have to worry about the price. And you also could make up drinks. You don't have to order exactly what is on the menu. A lot of times I would just order a whiskey sour. I think one time I ordered some whiskey and Grand Marnier with some bitters and you know I was kind of getting creative with the drinks by the end of the cruise just because I actually had the freedom to order whatever I wanted and that's not something that you know you usually feel at a bar. Usually when you order something with top shelf liquor you're thinking like okay how much are they going to charge me for this? So not having to worry about that price is to me one of the main reasons to get the drink package because you know at the end of the day I'm on my cruise to enjoy myself and have a good time. I don't want to be thinking about money for the entire duration of my cruise. So I mentioned that our cruise was a four day cruise and I think that, you know, we only had one port day. If we had had more port days, I don't know if the drink package would have been worth it because on our port day, we actually did not drink as much as on other days that we were just on the ship all day. For obvious reasons, we were off the ship for probably seven or eight hours because, you know, we were off doing excursions and exploring. So we did not have time to drink as many drinks that day. So if you're going on a cruise and there are three port days on that cruise and you plan on getting off the ship every single time, then I don't know if the drink package is necessarily going to be worth it for you. But on a shorter cruise with fewer stops and less things to do during the cruise, I think the drink package is a great way to pass the time. So I did want to talk about tipping a little bit and tipping etiquette on the cruise ship. I always tipped every time I got a drink. I usually would tip $1 per drink and even though I didn't have to, I felt like I got better service just because I was tipping everyone and they knew that I was tipping and they're going to remember you if you're the one who tips versus the person who doesn't tip. Um, personally to me, it's just kind of rude not to tip with every drink that I get. I've always been taught that you know you should leave at least a dollar if someone fixes you a drink. So that's what I did on my cruise and even if you drank 50 drinks, that's still only $50 in tips. So it's really not not that bad overall. It felt like I got much better service. The people on the ship were more attentive to me and they actually did learn my name. And you know, it was really, really helpful to me to be able to get good service because when a line would pile up and there's seven or eight people at the bar trying to get a drink, it's really nice when the bartender says, hey, Bella, how are you today? Are you having a good time on your cruise? You know, just a couple dollars makes a big difference to people who are working for tips. And you know, I think it's just important to do it. It's obviously your choice, but I do think that you'll get better service if you do bring some cash for tips. I like to tip in cash so that the people can get the cash and keep it. I'm not sure how that works on cruise ships, but I've always been told by servers that they would prefer cash tips. So that is how I try to tip. I actually didn't realize that the Cheers package would allow for us to do things like go to the coffee bar, order a bottled water and take it back to our room. So that is something that we figured out early on in the cruise that we could, you know, kind of make use of that. And we also were able to like order sodas to take back to our room. So anything that you really wanted, you could get some and then order it and then take it back to your room. I think the only rule that we encountered that we weren't aware of was that like, say I go to the coffee bar and order a coffee, I have to wait five minutes until I order another drink with the Cheers package. So that was the only rule that I encountered. And I think that probably has something to do with people trying to get drinks for other people, as well as just, you know, overwhelming the service and overwhelming the bartenders on the cruise ship. We also made use of our drinks package during the dining, during the dinner hours, and also during brunch. They had brunch mimosas and peach bellinis, and they were really good. They were something that was kind of fun to try on vacation. And once again, something that I probably wouldn't order if I went to a fancy restaurant, just because I don't want to pay $8 for orange juice and champagne. Um, but when it's already paid for, it was kind of a luxury to us. So we drank lots of mimosas in the morning and lots of peach bellinis. The beer on the ship was, I think, $7 if you just purchased it out of pocket and with the drink package the beer was I tried a couple different beers but overall I felt like it made more sense to get the higher ticket drinks since I was going to be getting them no matter what I could get 15 drinks a day so why not get the most expensive drinks that I can get so I was drinking the Patron margaritas I was drinking top shelf whiskey I was drinking anything that I could get my hands on that I wouldn't normally get at home but you could get beer and I think if you're a beer drinker um, it might be more worth it to you to just pay out of pocket since 
since the beer was only seven dollars i mean you can drink five beers for 35 dollars, so that's definitely going to be under budget if you are getting the drinks package so if you're a big beer drinker i probably would not get the drinks package but if you like to drink liquor if you like to drink champagne and wine and things like that the drinks package was awesome they also had like prosecco we had that with our dinner so i had prosecco and steak one night for dinner and overall it was just an awesome experience it was my first cruise so i don't have anything to compare it to i did hear a lot of bad things about carnival and and I tried to just not listen to the negative people because I know there's a lot of people who love Carnival and I do realize that Carnival isn't exactly a luxury brand it's not a luxury ship and being on the Carnival Valor you can definitely tell that it was an older ship um, but I did have a really good time and I enjoyed myself and I think that that was the point of the vacation so overall I would highly recommend getting the drinks package it takes away all the anxiety and you don't have to worry about money you don't have to worry about that during your cruise you can just enjoy yourself order what you want, explore a little bit, and kind of try new things. And overall, I think it simplified the vacation so much and made it a lot more enjoyable. I do plan on going on future cruises and I actually have an Alaskan cruise booked. So if you're interested in that, you can always subscribe to the channel and I would super appreciate it if you would hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and found the information helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care.